Okay, uh, let's look at uh, homework 1.2, problem number 9. Alright, so looks like we're trying to find the um, cost function and the revenue function for part A. Alright, so let's uh, pay attention to the keyword uh, initial investment. So whenever you see initial investment, uh, this is uh, basically the uh, key, uh, the fixed cost. Fixed cost. All right, and uh, unique cost is basically the variable cost. So here is the variable cost. All right, so the cost function can be found by simply, all right, of course, a fixed fixed cost should be there. So it's uh, 15,000. And then on top of that, there's going to be a variable cost times the number of products we're, we're going to produce. Uh, so it's going to be uh, 11.4x. So that's the cost function, right? And the revenue function, uh, since we assume that uh, all the all units of a product we produce, uh, we we assume to be able to sell. So and the selling price is right here, which is eighteen ninety. So the revenue is going to be uh, unit price price times the number of units. So it's uh, 18.9x is the revenue. All right, so that's it for part A. And part B, we want to find the break-even point by finding the point of intersection of the cost and the revenue equation. So we basically need to um, set the set these two equations together because a break even simply means that uh, when the cost function when the cost is equaling the revenue All right so let's do that so cost is going to be so we have to set these guys equal to each other so uh, since there's a room here so I'm going to do it uh, down here so it's uh, 18, so I'll write the revenue first, uh, 18.9x, so that's our revenue, is equal to the total cost is 15,000 plus 11.4x. All right. Since uh, we would like to have uh, all the x terms on the left hand side, so I'm going to subtract 11.4x from both sides. So 18.9x minus 11.4 would be 7.5, 7 7.5x. And is equal to uh, fifteen thousand. All right. So uh, we can simply divide through by seven point five to isolate x. So x is going to be let's see, uh, divide by seven point five. So x is going x is going to be. All right, 7.5, so it's uh, 2,000, so 15,000, maybe I'll write that, 15,000 divided by 7.5 would be 2,000. All right, so it's going to be 2,000 units to break even. All right. So how many units would yield a profit of $1,000? All right, so the profit is simply the difference between the revenue and the cost. So maybe I should write the pro, uh, profit function. So let's say 
profit function uh, p of x. So I should write the p of x should be equal to, all right? So revenue is the money coming in and minus the cost. Cost is the money going out. All right, so revenue is again uh, 18.9x and uh, minus, so we have to subtract uh, 15,000 plus 11.4 x all right all right so since uh, negative sign distribute to 11.4 x2 so it's going to be 18.9 x minus 11.4 x so which is going to be 7.5 x and then uh, we subtract uh, 15 thousand from that. All right, so that's the profit function and we want this profit to be 1,000. So we're gonna set this guy equal to 1,000. Then we can uh, solve for x. So this we, from here, all right, so first step would be I'm gonna add 15,000 to uh, to both equations, so you're going to end up with 7.5x is going to be equal to 16,000. Right? Then um, we have uh, we can isolate x by dividing through by 7.5. Right? So x is going to be uh, 16,000 divided by 7.5. All right, so I'm going to cheat a little bit, so I'm going to just bring up a calculator. All right, so you can see that. All right, so I, I want to find uh, 16,000 and divided by uh, 7.5. Right, then it's going to give you uh, 2133 so uh, so this is about uh, 2133 uh, point three so um, I would say uh, since uh, you know to um, have a profit of at least 1000 so I would probably write uh, uh, 2100 33 uh, 34 units as the answer all right so I hope uh, this was clear